That is the sea dripping in. We are about 150 meters below the sea surface. We don't have more than maybe 40 meters of mountain above us. Knut Sturli is one of Norway's most experienced tunnelers. Today, he is involved in the most complex construction project of his career, the Rogfast Tunnel that will become the world's longest and deepest road tunnel underwater. What makes this Rogfast project so interesting is that it is so complicated. A lot of difficult bedrock to blast through, and of course the length of the tunnel. It's very long. The tunnel is part of a complete reconstruction of the Norwegian west coast, with tunnels and bridges replacing ferry crossings. To succeed, Knut Sturli and his team need to blast their way through the Norwegian fjords. Building a tunnel underwater means that you always need to know what you have in front of you. So you don't hit anything and suffer water leakage with all of the problems that would bring. To make sure we don't bump into any problems, water or bedrock, we probe and drill a few holes in the working face. When we bump into water or bad bedrock, we have to handle that. For water, we drill like an umbrella around the tunnel and inject a mix of water and concrete to seal a screen around the tunnel. Today, NCC are building two support tunnels, each two kilometers long. They will serve as ventilation shafts once the main tunnel is finalized. The team works 24-7 on site, and the tunnels become about 18 meters longer each day. First of all, this is a very big hall inside the bedrock. It is secured with spray concrete. Then we have put bolts in the bedrock. You see those white plates? That is because of the strain and the dimensions in the hall. We have five meters of screw in the overhang and then four meters on the walls. Then I wouldn't want to be here. Of course, in these big halls, you need to secure the walls. It is for our security, but also because this is supposed to last for more than 50 years. The Rogfast Tunnel is projected to open for traffic in 2026. Knut Storley will drive through with pride. When I'm driving through a tunnel that I have been involved in constructing, when you're a passenger, of course you tell everybody about that. It makes you quite proud.